on guys? Welcome to my first official Jackie Slay YouTube video. If you came here from my Jackie Shea channel, this is my brand new second channel that I just created. And if you're here, thank you so much. I created this channel just kind of for extra videos just like this. Things that aren't related to fishing or the outdoors I feel like would be much more appropriate on a separate channel just so people can kind of go over there if they'd like or I don't know. I've been wanting to do it for a while so finally did it. So welcome to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. It's been a while since I've been on or since I filmed a video for YouTube. Honestly, it's been a couple weeks. I haven't posted and I just took a nice little Christmas break. So I hope you all had a wonderful, lovely holiday season. I hope your new year is going great so far. So some of you might already know, and by the title of this video, you will know that Lewis and I got engaged. And also if you've been following me on my channel for the past couple of months, you may have seen my pretty ring and some of the videos and some people have been commenting here and there noticing but yes so we're engaged we got engaged on august 30th 2021 last year and um it's funny because immediately following that we both got sick the the big c that we're not supposed to talk about we got that right after like the day after and then as soon as we got better we had to run straight up to venice because because that big hurricane had just come through um and we wanted to go check on the house and the chickens and stuff like that so we were so busy and got so caught up in a bunch of different things that we never really got the chance to like take a formal photo shoot or announce it even on our social media pages or you know i never got to formally like let y'all know i have some questions that I need to find actually. And I don't know if I put a good detail of my ring. Can you see it? It's so pretty, very cute. It, was my, it wasn't my. It was my grandma's ring. It was just a diamond that my grandma had. Okay, so the first question that we get asked all the time, Lewis and I, whether we meet someone new or a friend or whatever, they all want to know how we met. Because um, if you don't know, Lewis is from Louisiana and I'm from Florida and I live in Florida and he lives in Louisiana so people are all the time like how did, wait how did you meet so uh, we actually met in 2017 on my first ever trip to Venice with a bunch of girls I went on a big girls trip to go fishing in Venice and him and his buddies ended up being our captains and for or, you know all the deckhands and stuff for our fishing trips and um, we all, you know, became friends. We, I actually had a boyfriend at the time. He had a girlfriend at the time. So, you know, we never really connected, but, um, you know, we were friends on like Instagram and Snapchat and all that kind of stuff. And a year went by, um, I ended up breaking up with my boyfriend and he broke up with his girlfriend. And both of us got invited on a trip to the Bahamas with our, our other friend, well, with his friend's girlfriend. Uh, so she invited us on a Bahamas trip, which all of these videos I'm talking about are on my Jackie Shea channel. So you can go find those and watch them. The whole timeline's kind of there for you. But um, in case you didn't know, this is the story. So we reconnected on that Bahamas trip and ended up really hitting it off. And then he invited me over to Venice to do some more fishing and hang out and stuff. And, and then we just started dating. How did he propose? So I really love the story of how he proposed. Actually, let me go get, let me go get something. This shell is called a scotch bonnet. I'm a huge beachcomber. I love finding shells and little like treasures and driftwood on the beach and stuff. And this particular shell is my absolute favorite. And I have had an eye for these since I was like seven years old. I've been looking for these and I'm really good at finding them. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I've shown Lewis, you know, what I like to do. I brought him with me to go look for shells and he knows I love those shells. So one morning or the morning that he asked me, I guess he stuck that, this exact shell, he stuck this in his pocket and shoved the ring inside of it. And um, on during, at, during the walk, he like ran and like hid the shell because the place where we were, there was a bunch of rocks. He went and hid the shell under a rock and he, and then he kind of, I feel like he kind of screwed it up because he ran over to me because we kind of were competitive, you know, when we're finding these shells. And he ran over to me and he was like, look at this one. He's like, you need to see this big one. And I was like, 
I was like, okay, I was like, yeah, right. He would have picked that up and, you know, he would have been claiming it, you know. He wouldn't be running over to tell me about it. I kind of knew something was up. And I went over and I saw it and it was like, holy crap. Because it, it, that's actually a really big one. That's a really big one for, you know, let me show you actually. So this is just one jar of uh, these shells that I like to find. I have jars of them all over my house. This one is pretty big. This is like an average size one and this, this is the one. And my mom actually found this one. She gave it to Lewis to put the ring in. So Lewis hid it in the shell and he told me to go pick it up. And I picked it up and I knew I was like, something's up and the ring was inside. And then he got down on one knee and asked me to marry him. Actually, there was a photographer there. He had someone and he was so smooth. So like he coordinated everything with my parents and like, I had no idea. I was wearing my pajamas that morning. I'd, I woke up and I didn't do anything. I didn't wash my face. I didn't brush my hair. Like I looked horrible that morning. So um, that's another reason I didn't really share any of the photos because I was like, oh, I look so bad. So that's how he proposed. And um, I, I think it was perfect. It was so sweet and exactly what I would have dreamed of, of if someone asked me to marry them. It was uh, really sweet and special to me because I love those shells and uh, it was really a surprise. Honestly, it was a huge surprise. But that brings me to another question, which is like, did I know he was going to propose? And like, we had been talking about getting married probably for like a year, a year and a half, you know, before he actually asked me, like he would joke around about going to look at rings and stuff. I showed him a few pictures of rings I liked, you know, like here and there, like not anything serious. Like this is the ring I want. When are you going to get it? You know, like I didn't know when he was gonna do that. But I know that we had been talking about it and we knew it was going to happen at some point. So um, probably we were talking about it for like a year and a half, I would say, or maybe a year. Okay, I guess some girls might want to know if we looked at rings and um, did he get the right one. Like I said earlier, we, we had joked around about looking at rings and we actually did look once when we were down in the keys we went to this jewelry store and he kind of looked at different rings but they didn't really have what i wanted so we didn't really look but i had showed him some photos on pinterest and stuff like that you know like here and there i never really tried any on honestly because i don't really know exactly what i want so the the ring though that he did propose with initially was not the one that i'm wearing right now because um the jeweler he he went he went and talked to the to the jeweler and he he made my ring with, uh, he made it very like thick and strong because Lewis told him all the stuff we do, you know, we're always fishing and diving and hunting. So the jeweler thought it would be a good idea to like really like beef up my ring and make it strong so that we can, I can wear the ring while we're doing all this stuff. I didn't really love the way it looked. It was very similar to this one. It was just uh, like thicker, the metal was thicker. If, you know, if that makes sense. So I just had him kind of, you know, tone it down a little bit and make it a little bit more dainty because I'm not a huge jewelry person either. So I like, you know, smaller, simpler things. So no, it was not the ring actually, the ring that he proposed with was not the one that I am wearing now. Did he ask my parents? That's another common question. And yes, he did ask my parents. I don't know, I don't know exactly what he did or what he said or how he did it. I do know that he was going to my parents' house a lot by himself, like, the week that he came or no it was one week that he was here not the week that he proposed it was like a few weeks before and he was going over my parents a lot by himself like making he's like going to make food and stuff on, on their grill and i was like okay you know like <laughs> i don't mind but I, i'm pretty sure he probably talked to them at some point when he was doing that okay so final question um i hope this isn't too long final question is is there a wedding date When's the wedding? And honestly, I don't know. I I don't even know what I want to do. So I, I'm okay with being engaged for like, a, you know, a year or maybe even a year and a half or two years. Or I don't know. We'll see what happens. I honestly don't know. No date. No plan yet. I need to start looking and stay tuned. Okay? I hope you guys enjoy the beautiful photos that we took. We did do a little engagement shoot. My sister took some photos for us. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for joining this channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button because I'd love to have y'all on this channel as well. I'll see y'all in my next one.